Good morning. Today we're going to be administering subcutaneous medications. I have my patient and I've gotten a report on him and I've gone in to assess the patient. His name is Morgan Brown. His medical record number was correct and his date of birth was correct, 8-4-1970. I'm going to Mr. Brown's orders and I'm going to check the physician's orders for accuracy. So I'm going to pull my medication administration record and on this, I can see that he has heparin 5,000 units subcutaneous every morning and hold if the PTT is greater than 60. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to verify this with the order. So I have Morgan Brown, medical record number, date of birth, and he was admitted with an upper respiratory infection and tachycardia. He is allergic to morphine sulfate. He is on bed rest, so I can see why he may be getting an anticoagulant. And then I come down and I see that the physician had ordered heparin 5,000 units, and I'm checking my MAR, heparin 5,000 units, subcutaneous every morning, subcutaneous every morning, starting tomorrow, and tomorrow would be today, and then hold if the PTT is greater than 60. Okay, so the order is correct, and the route, all of my um, rights are correct, and I will be checking my documentation later. So from this point on, I am going to work off my medication administration record. I did go to my labs this morning and I found that Mr. Brown's PTT was 55, so I will not be holding the heparin. And I also checked to make sure that he was not going for any invasive procedures or having any done at the bedside, so there's no reason to hold the medication. And on my assessment, I noticed that Mr. Brown does not have any signs and symptoms of active bleeding at all. He is not, um, doesn't have hematuria, epistaxis, um, he doesn't have um, melana, and his um, platelets were within the safe range this morning. So I'm going to put my heart chart away. And now when I finish my assessment, when I actually do my planning, I need to get out what I need. So I am going to take my medication administration record. I've looked up my heparin and I know what it's for. I know its action. I know the side effects. I know um, what patient teaching needs to be done. And I know that the order is given in the safe dose range. So now I'm going to go ahead and pull the rest. I have. Um, I'm going to need two by twos for the injection. I'm going to need alcohol swabs. And it's said that the heparin, um, it's usually in about one to, uh, half to one milliliter. So I am going to use a three ml size syringe and the appropriate um, needle size and length for subcutaneous injection is 25 to 30 gauge and the length being 3 eighths of an inch to 1 inch. So I take a needle and the syringe and I have a 3 milliliter syringe with a 25 gauge and 5 eighths inch needle which is appropriate for this medication. Okay. And then I'm going to need my gloves and of course I have my medication card right here. Okay. So the next thing that I need to do now that I've done my planning and my assessment, I'm going to implement. So now I need to wash my hands and I'm going to begin to prepare my medication. So I need to go through, I'm going to have to take Mr. Brown's drawer and again it says Morgan Brown, which can be a common name. So I'm just going to verify that I have the correct medical record number and date of birth. And this is his drug drawer. And then I'm going to pull out my medication. So I have heparin, and this is heparin. It says 5,000 units. This is 10,000 units per milliliter. So I'm going to have to do a dosage calculation. And by my calculation, 5,000 units would be in one half of a milliliter, or 0 0.5. This is 10,000 units per one ml, so I'm going to need to draw up 0.5 mls. The route is subcutaneous. It's going to be given every morning, which is today. And hold if the PTT is greater than 60, which it was not, it was less, it was 55, so it's going to be given. This is not expired, the expiration date is within range. And then I think I am 
ready. So we have, that was our first check. So again, I'm going to do a second check. We have Morgan Brown as my patient. The correct patient, the correct drug is heparin. The correct dose is 5,000 units, and it will be 5,000 units per one half an ml. The correct route is subcutaneous. The correct time is this morning, and the correct documentation will be done after I have given the medication, and it is not expired. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and draw up my medication. I need to be careful not to contaminate, if I'm putting a syringe and needle together, not to contaminate the hub. Okay, so I've got my needle together, and then I'm going to prepare the vial by forcefully or briskly cleaning the stopper and then I'll allow that to dry. Okay. I'm going to pull up my one half an ml, one half a milliliter, and then I'm going to pull my cap. I make sure that this is twisted on tightly and pull my cap straight off. And I need to set my cap so that I can do a one-handed scoop method when I put the cap back on after drying. Okay, so I'm going to take my heparin vial, I inject half a milliliter of air, I keep my thumb on the plunger and I turn the vial upside down with my hand and the needle still in the vial and then I'm going to withdraw one ml, uh, one half an ml. And I draw a little bit more because I will get a little air. And then I can carefully chase the bubbles up to the top and push the remainder, the extra that I have up to one half a milliliter. Okay, and I, um, I see no air bubbles. I have one half an ml of heparin, which is going to be 5,000 units because it is 10,000 units in one entire milliliter. Set that back down, and then the one-handed scoop method, I scoop the cap back on, never touch down here, but put that into place, okay? And now I've drawn it up, I'm going to do my third check. Again, the patient, Morgan Brown, the correct medication is heparin, the correct dosage is 5,000 units, which would be in one half ml, one half ml, heparin, 10,000 units per ml, so this is one half ml or 5,000 units. The route is subcutaneous. I have the correct equipment for a subcutaneous injection. Every morning, it's 9 a.m. Hold if the PTT is greater than 60, and I'm not gonna hold it because it's 55, and he doesn't have any indications for me to hold this, and the heparin is not expired. And then my sixth right will be when I document. Okay, and then I'm going to clean up my garbage, and I'll be ready to go into the room. I like to just have it on something. Some nurses will just carry it with their clipboard. I'm gonna put my heparin on here, and my two by twos, and my alcohol wipe, and my gloves. And I'm gonna put my heparin back in Mr. Brown's drawer. So the garbage will be thrown away. Don't see that. Okay, and then again, I'm gonna wash my hands. A lot of hand washing here. Okay, I'm ready to take this into the room. Good morning. Good morning. Hi, I'm Kim. I'm back again. I'm going to wash my hands. I'm going to just close the curtain for your privacy. Can you tell me your name again, sir? Morgan Brown. Okay, Mr. Brown, great. I'm back again with your medication. Can you tell me your date of birth? 8-4-1970. Oh, good. Okay. Very good, and I'm just going to compare your medical record number to make sure that I have the right person. And Mr. Brown, what allergies do you have? Morphine. Oh, okay. So I have morphine sulfate as well, and I'm not giving you any morphine this morning. I just have your heparin subcutaneous injection, and that's going to be a little um, needle stick, little pinch in the abdomen. And I have, um, do you have any questions about your medication at all? 
Okay, I just want to tell you it is an anticoagulant, so I want you not to massage the area after you're done because it can cause bleeding around the site a little bit. And I want you to tell me right away if you have any nose bleeding or bleeding gums or you notice anything that looks like unusual bleeding or bruising, okay? All right, so what I would like to do is get you comfortable. I'm just going to raise the bed a little bit and I'm going to put your head down. Is that all right with you? Yeah, it's okay. All right, good. Very good. Okay. Tell me. It's okay. Great. Did you sleep well last night? Oh, yeah. A lot of noises. Oh, yeah, I know. It's hard sometimes here. Okay, now I'm just going to take a look at your abdomen. Good. Okay. And I'm just going to palpate around your, about two inches away from the umbilicus, and I don't see any hardened areas or any bruising, so it looks like any place is okay, because this is your first injection. We're going to definitely mark what site we use so that we rotate those, okay? I'm just going to put my gloves on. just going to alcohol that off in a circular motion and then I'm just going to put the corner of the alcohol wipe right to my site so I remember where I wiped it off for you okay pull the cap off and then I'm going to pinch gently or with a larger person I may hold the skin taut okay, and with a darting motion about a 45 degree angle Good. Okay, so you can feel pinch and inject. One, two, three. Slowly. Very good. And out. Okay, you did great, Mr. Brown. Engage my safety. Okay, sir, you did very well. No bleeding. Just remember not to rub the site, okay? You all right? Oh, you, I didn't even feel it. Oh, good. I'm so glad. All right. But that will prevent any blood clots from forming. So it's a good thing while you're on bed rest, okay? And I'm going to put the head of the bed down again. Can I get you comfortable? Are you happy the way you are? Or would you like to sit up a little bit more? Oh, no, I'm good. Okay, very good. Side rails are up. I'm going to make sure that you have your call light in reach here. And I'm going to clean up my garbage. I'm going to dispose of my syringe and needle in the sharps. Be right back, sir. Okay, and I'm going to give your table back to you. Can I get you anything else right now? Okay, well, I'm going to be back and I'll look at that site again in about a half hour, hour, and um, call me if you need anything, okay? And then I'm going to step out, and I am going to document that I gave Mr. Brown heparin 5,000 units subcutaneous this morning at 0900, and my initials, and that the site was the left upper quadrant, L-U-Q. And then I'm going to sign my name and initials and put my medication administration record away. And all before I walk out of the room, I wash my hands. Okay, thank you, Mr. Brown. And out.